Here we are, the final level of the Polybridge 3 Seeker World. $200,000, and I really only have 100,000 to work with. What is this vehicle? It's a monster flipper with a wheel on top. Does that work? Oh yeah, the wheel actually rotates backwards, but then it like falls off. What the hell? Oh, this is a weird level. So I've got to build like a road on the inside that like matches the curve of the outside so it can continuously drive and basically make a full enclosed loop. Well, that is really clever and really terrifying. First off, the height of the vehicle is probably important and it's like 2.25 meters ish about maybe 2.2 that might make things complicated but here's what's up right i gotta do a an arc from like here to here and then curve it so it's like equidistance at all points and then i probably got to make the road shorter so the curve can actually be accurate you know actually i guess i could use math to solve this i was trying to figure out like how far the road away should be but i think i can use math for starters i could take the curve length of the actual uh in place track itself and also note that when I'm dragging out the lines, they're basically perfectly flat. So that's important. 31.81 meters. Does it change if I change the length? No, 31.81 meters. I'm going to write that down real quick. And the radius is exactly 10 meters. Now I've got to make a curve with a radius of exactly 7.75 meters. So 2.25 was right. Now the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle is pi. Similarly, the ratio of half the circumference to the radius is also pi. Well, the ratio isn't exactly there. It tells me that pi is equal to 3.18, but it's pretty close. It's also possible that this isn't a perfect circle, but I think the math works out the same. So I can just do a simple 31.81 times 7.75 divided by 10 to get me my new half circumference, which is 24.65. I'll just set up my endpoint here and then make sure it's parallel and just drag it out until it's that length. Yeah, annoyingly, it won't let me <laughs> do this any better, but whatever, it's fine. This is as close to a curve as I'm gonna get. So I guess I'll just start making a truss here. I actually don't know how to best support this. Well, as nice as this looks, I doubt this is economical. Let me just test out the idea. Does it work? Oh, like a ch charm. Well, okay, it's my fault for supporting everything on one, two nodes. It was working until it just got stressed. I actually don't know if it's under tension or compression yet, so I will just kind of have steel, which can do both. Let me see what the stress on. Where does it go bad? Uh, there? It hasn't failed yet. You know, I think it's too tight. It, it might actually just be a smidge too tight, so now I gotta tweak that. And probably my initial measurement of 331.81 meters was just off. Or, wait, where does it drive on? Oh, there's a flat part here. It's not part of the curve, and actually, that's the difference maker. Here, it actually looks too loose. Yeah, so it doesn't even drive a perfect curve. It messes with you a little bit. There's also the fact that because these roads are broken up into straight lines and are into literal perfect curve, there's gonna be points where it's closer to the vehicle and further away from the vehicle. That's unavoidable. Sometimes all you can do though is give it a hug. Here, I wanna give it a slap right across the face. Excuse you? Why? Okay, that is just bizarre. Oh, this one is close. It looks like it's just barely losing grip. Oh wait, it, it continues. It goes. Eventually, it gets there. Hold up. We might be onto something. It's just really, really slow. Thankfully, this next order of business is much easier. All you need are just straight roads going across. And I do admit, I could just mirror this, right? Well, no, because I also got to complete the quarter pipe going down. I mean, I don't have to, but I should. Also, this budget is terrible. And I guess I do know the length, right? It's just 3181 divided by two, which is about 15.9. And I imagine again, gotta have a horizontal and a vertical line. I bet I could actually take out the grid to make sure it's perfectly horizontal and vertical, or at least perfectly horizontal. Vertical line isn't doing it. And then I guess I'll just like patch this in. Yeah, I am overspending right now, but I mean, it'll look pretty sick when it's done. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I hope it works. I mean, I know it's gonna have that problem on the left or right side. Oh, okay, actually, there is a bit of a change. I mean, the dynamics have changed due to the stuff on top, which, by the way, probably necessitates that. And if this broke, I can just move the roads in. Well, let's see. 
Ooh, okay, fix some tweaks. Drives along the top. How's it gonna go coming down, though? That's a totally different beast, isn't it? A good beast. I mean, this is a satisfying bridge. It's just really expensive. Now what? Again, I'm not last, but I am seventh last. Ah, uh, huh. Looks like unbreaking. Fourth last. Yay! <laughs> I hope you're all ready for the shave of a lifetime. This is about to be as satisfying as it comes. But honestly, I feel like looking at this is just as satisfying too. Don't worry, I will shave it. I just want to cherish this while it's here. How smooth. So you know where I think the money should be saved? Here. We don't need any of that. Now, yes, it is still over budget, but I mean, it's a fantastic start to the whole thing. Because let's be honest, the car goes from left to right. All I need to do is just make it land down below with probably like a spring catch and it'll just drive into the flag. Very basic spring catch. I mean, it sags a bit. Oh no, the right side's different now. Please get there. Ah, crap. The dynamics of the bridge have changed. Okay, I fixed that. How's this work? Yeah, perfectly. Not even close to a break. And that's about half the cost down, but I still got 56,000 to go. Uh, next test, how many roads do I really need on top? Can I just get rid of some? Well, it keeps causing a bad effect on the right side, but not that bad of one. Try getting rid of another road. That works. And another one. Yeah, that works just as well. How many top roads do we even really need? Like, I can get rid of that and then go for a sport like here. <laughs> Damn it. Stop doing that. Ah, ha. That was interesting. It's a less gracious fall. I wonder if I can work with it. Because, like, it just tumbles for the wheel to clip. It does some weird stuff, loses most of its momentum. It spins a bit. Well, it's actually the first wheel falling that gets it. See, what I'm thinking is like, I don't need these roads anymore. I could maybe angle these up a lot. I could maybe even get rid of a lot of the sport on the side here and actually transition to a more of a spring sport from the middle. It's certainly cheaper. Come on. Uh, it catches the wheel. Understandable see, to see why that happens. I think I do need another road. More springs. Not even that much cheaper though. Almost. You know, the road probably doesn't even need to directly attach. I probably just have a tiny little jump and be good enough. Oh, yeah, that does work. That's nice and cheap. Hey, top half already climbing. Now, do I really need all these springs? How few do I actually need to have? Okay, I do have to admit though, this is the scariest part of the bridge to shave because any effort I make on this is gonna be immediately reversed when I change the right side. So with that in mind, I'm gonna leave the left side alone. Try to get just a bit of money off of here. For starters, do I need these steels? They don't really seem to be doing much. Uh, well, uh, yuck. Oh, yeah. Those minor changes changes how it uh moves. Well, you know what then? I wonder if I could just get rid of another road because it seems actually more balanced for longer then. So I could just move another road, let it get more unbalanced. What the hell is this? You dick. Ah, there we go again. Oh, hate to see it. Tips over in just the wrong way. Guess I'm going back to when there was one more road and then I could try removing some of the sports again. Now it tilts back the other way? Oh no, who could have seen this coming? Oh, oh, me, I could have seen it coming because I could fix it. Or fifth, if. And well, the simplest thing I can do the, on the right side is redo all of this steel. I don't need it. Like what if I tried just wood at first? The wood then can be followed up by steel. I'm gonna connect to every other wood node for now. And I guess since I can afford it, I might as well connect to every wood connection point. Doesn't hurt. Now the wood is more fragile, so yeah, I guess it's gonna break. You take the breaking woods, replace them with steel until there's no more. Better. There's always gonna be a few under pressure, but not all of them. And it seems to be the most direct ones that are taking the most pressure. Is that right? 
no, some diagonal ones do take pressure. We're getting pretty close back to 100,000 again. What? You broke. Let me see if that's going to keep happening. No, that was a one-time thing. A two-time thing. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Stay like that. So be it. Almost made it. One steal away, and then we have to see if the landing's changed. Because its release is probably going to be different. Okay, two steals away. Come on. It's still way under budget. Also, I have this completely useless steel piece here, right? Yeah, hold on. The hell? This should connect, right? To make it more rigid. Now we're dangerously close to 100k, but still not over it. And it gets stuck, but there we go. No brakes. Oh, it falls too far. It's too good. If it is, in fact, too good, I could just make the road shorter. And then it'll probably tip over sooner. Save me money and get me to the end? Uh-oh. Breaking a steel? Now, nah, let me see if that'll always be the case. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it. I was feeling so good for a second. Now you gotta do me like this. All right, here's what's up. I can afford a steel muscle. It may look like I cannot afford a steel muscle, but I will save $101 elsewhere. You know where I'll save it? Right here. Screw that other thing. Screw it. Now I can afford to replace more woods with steels, and this can just be its own man. And look at that, it works beautifully. Again, this is a good problem to have. You just make the road shorter, and we're all good. And one of these times, it'll work out! A spring broke! Under half budget with the break. Damn near. Doesn't count. How dare you. After all we've been through, give me the spring muscle. I need two springs to do that man's job. It must be a tough job. Let's see it. <gasps> yes! No breaks! There it is! The beautiful. Top 20%. Final level of the Seeker World. A very cool level. How did people get this for $11,000? Well, 12,000's in here. Oh, this is sick! It locks into the wheel and is a rotating arm! That is unbelievably clever. It almost doesn't work. And then the bare minimum on top needed. How does this... Wow, a beautiful fall. A beautiful catch, too. Landing on mostly the pier? Amazing design. This is the cheapest one that didn't have that rotating arm. And that's really good, too. 37,000? Wow. That is an impressive specimen. Well done. This one's a low stress one. 43% max stress and a bit of a teaser as to what's to come next. The springs are shock absorbers, keeping, ah, the stress low. Next, I wanna tackle, now that I've gotten every level under half budget, is climbing the low stress leaderboards. It's new for Polybridge 3, and I gotta check it out. I bet it'll be a lot of fun. So if you guys wanna see legitimate, cool, structurally sound bridges, stick around next time, and I'll be climbing those leaderboards. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. Excited for more Polybridge. Have a wonderful day and peace.